It's been 10 days since I started using my first 3D printer and I'm excited to share my quick setup experience and first impressions with you. So let's dive in. This is the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini and it's sold in India by these four official resellers. I got mine from Wall 3D but it's usually out of stock everywhere so make sure you check in advance. Whether you are a beginner or just curious about 3D printing like me, this video will give you an idea of what to expect from this amazing machine. The Bamboo Lab A1 Mini comes pre-assembled which is a huge plus. Everything is neatly packed and it includes the printer itself, some sample filament, a random maker's kit and all the tools you need to get started. The setup was quick and easy. I just followed a few steps from the manual, tightened some screws with the provided allen keys and attached the spool holder. By the way, comment unbox if you'd like to see a detailed unboxing and setup process. The A1 Mini features full auto calibration including Z offset, bed leveling, vibration resonance and nozzle pressure. So you don't need to worry about manual adjustments. The touchscreen interface makes navigation simple and with the Wi-Fi connectivity, you can easily load and start printing files from the Bamboo Studio PC application or the Bamboo Handy mobile app. For my first 3D print, I printed the iconic Benchy model which comes pre-loaded on the included SD card, which is 32GB. For reference, the Benchy is a small benchmark board often used to test the 3D printer performance. The printer's active flow rate compensation ensures smooth and accurate extrusion and the layer lines were subtle with impressive detail and precision. The A1 Mini is compatible with the AMS Lite which gives the functionality to print 4 colors or filaments but it's optional and I did not get it. After 10 days of use, I am genuinely impressed with its performance. While the 180x180x180mm print bed may feel small to some, it seems perfect for my current needs. I also printed a few practical items including a spool holder, a print bed scraper, a thread cap container and even a custom mini figurine which I'll show in detail in a future video so stay tuned for that. The high speed printing saves time and while the motor is quiet, the fan noise can become noticeable during long prints, especially if you're in the same room. So who is this printer for? The A1 Mini is perfect for beginners and hobbyists like me looking for an affordable feature packed 3D printer as well as someone who is into professional 3D printing. Whether you want to create functional parts, decorative items or prototypes, this printer can handle it all, as long as you keep the print bed size in mind. To sum up, the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini is a fantastic 3D printer that delivers on its promise of ease of use, precision and versatility. I am excited to continue exploring its capabilities and share more projects with you in the future and you can follow on Instagram for the regular updates. Don't forget to comment with your thoughts or questions and subscribe for more 3D printing adventures. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.